father, although he was a teacher, but he also enjoyed in practicing Chinese medicine, especially acupuncture. Of course, he has no training, but, but just by reading the textbook, Chinese textbook, so he can practice on his friends, family members, and the local communities. Of course, without charging just for fun for treating for free. And he was quite popular in the, like if someone got the back pain and he could use acupuncture to fix it. And then they may send him some eggs or chicken, hams for, for, for his hard work. So in fact, yeah, this also helped me to involve with the TCM practice. Yeah, um, initially I was employed by a small company to work as a TCM practitioner. So I worked in Cambridge for about one and a half years and it's just uh, seeing the patient. And for that kind of the practice, so I was, you know, quite enjoyed because that gave me experience and also gave me chance to practice English. Um, since then, I, in 1997, so Middlesex University set up this TCM course, so I applied. So I was the only uh, staff which, you know, to appointed as a senior lecturer, so in 1997. Because currently lack of the regulation or the, the legal recognitions, so therefore it is like everybody can practice acupuncture or herbal medicine without proper uh, assessing or monitoring and uh, you possibly know, you know, during the past 10 or 20 years in the UK there were so many shops set up in London or in the UK for TCM shops. So these kind of the shops, you know, it's so easy. It's much easier than setting up a restaurant. But bear in your mind, this is to see the patient. So you could make the patient ill. Worked as a president of Traditional Chinese Medicine Association, ATCM. It was at that time, as you know, they we were discussed that uh, there would there would be a statutory regulation for TCM for traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. So we need to raise the standard for professional. Although ATCM was formed in 1994, initially just there were only something like 30 or 40 members. So by the time I trying to work there, so it must something around 150 members. So we need to attract more people or practitioners to join our association. Because traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, it's originated from China and it is a traditional practice and developed through associated with Chinese culture. Therefore, the terminology is a big issue to me. You know, like nowadays, Western medicine, they, are not, they were not developed on a certain specific or based on one country's culture. So it is the terminology. Chinese medicine has been practiced over 2000 years. They have their own language. But this language may not be able to interpret or translate it into proper English or Western medical concept. For example, channels or qi, you know, this kind of the terminology. For Chinese, it's very easy to understand, you know, if you said the qi. We use the qi very often. But if you translate the qi as energy, and Western medical, they will find, oh, what is energy? You know, it's kind of... The, the way they couldn't understand. So therefore, if they don't understand, they will say, oh, you're just talking rubbish, you're talking aliens. So completely different language. 
But if we try to work with them, you know, to explain or using to translate in a different way, so possibly these two practices can match. Thank you.